Welcome to Appliance Factory Reviews. As always, I'm your host, Richard Hughes. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the top five fridges of 2019. Um, we're not going to do this in a particular order, but we are going to break it down by category. So let's go ahead and start off with our number one pick for the counted up fridge of 2019, the KitchenAid KRFC 704. Now, with a hefty price tag of ranging anywhere from three to four thousand, depending on the promotions it goes, it usually sits around thirty-seven hundred dollars. So, definitely not for the faint of heart when it comes to price. However, on the inside, this thing is absolutely stunning. Now, it uses a platinum interior to really make everything in your fridge pop. I know that sounds funny, but once you get this thing full of food, you can see every nook and cranny here because they don't blend against those white walls. However, it's loaded with features on the inside. Using actual storage bins that are deep enough where the ice bin is, these are actually functional shelves for most of your condiments, including a full-size shelf down at the bottom, which is unusual in counter-depth fridges, especially those with ice makers. On the inside, it does have an actual breakaway shelf right smack in the middle, so it can give you full depth, and it can also give you for those room for those taller items on there. But putting it in the middle allows you to access more of the unit as opposed to keeping it on the side like most units does. Tall spaces at the top, middle space in here, and then a large space here. However, when you go down further, you're actually going to get a pull-out drawer um, that's... Uh, it, it is a wood finish, and while it seems a little funny, I absolutely have fallen in love with it. Um, your soft closed drawers are on all the drawers that are there. Deep, very, very deep uh, drawers. And for a counter depth refrigerator, these drawers go all the way to the back. Unlike most counter depths, when you pull them out, stop. So they maximize the space, including a temperature controlled lower drawer. In addition to that, on the right hand side, you're actually going to have a flip up container that's large enough to fit eggs, which has been a big contention for a lot of refrigerators nowadays, that the egg cartons don't fit. Large enough for gallon bin storages in there, and in the freezer wise, one of the best organizations of any freezer of French doors. Having the top push away, full depth, pushes all the way through with the two big bins at the bottom. Now, something else that they have done is really focused on style on this guy. Your control panel is actually right here on the door. So as opposed to having the control panel on the front of the unit, which is the most common, they put it on the door to hide it. That way, on the front of the unit, all that you have is a water dispenser where most of the controls are actually hidden until you touch them, lighting them up. Water paddle and ice paddle. With two separate paddles, you don't have to worry about accidentally pressing this and getting ice that splashes in your drink, or vice versa. So, for the number one pick for counted up refrigerators, four bells and whistles, and overall feature set, there's no better fridge out there, but it does come with a hefty price tag. So let's move on to largest capacity, fully featured refrigerators. Taking spot number two, once again, KitchenAid's gonna take it. Now, this guy also, definitely in the uh, pricier category, but as I said, fully featured refrigerators. Just like our 704 counter depth, this guy has the platinum interior. And you can see with the lights on in here, this thing is stunning. A much larger ice maker in the door, they've eliminated the shelves to give you a larger capacity ice maker, which is one of the most common complaints about most of your French door refrigerators. But they still have a shelf that's large enough to actually keep your condiments there. And inside the unit, um, very large deep shelves, once again, on rollers, but they actually have a wonderful little storage drawer for herbs and smaller items that usually take up and clutter the rest of your refrigerator. Now what's super impressive are the two drawers down here. So this is your cold select. From meat, fish, cold drinks, green herbs, deli and cheese, and thaw and marinade, you get a temperature controlled drawer. What's amazing is the depth of that drawer. In most cases, this drawer isn't this deep because it stops about mm, three quarters of the way the machine. However, Two incredibly deep large drawers, one for protos, one that's temperature controlled, give you maximum storage space. As opposed to a very thin deli drawer, these guys are deep. Almost seven inches deep as far as storage space goes. So, as overall space goes and organization, it definitely takes the cake. Now, once again, you get a fantastic 
drawers when it comes to organization. Your top drawer right there is a little bit deeper for your smaller items. You have a second drawer down there, all on rollers, and then an indoor pizza storage that slides right through here for those tall, narrow boxes that normally don't fit inside of a French store refrigerator. This thing has it. So from a storage and capacity point, Still with that price tag around that uh, $3,600 to $3,800, this guy takes the cake when it comes to features. So, taking spot number two, KitchenAid. So this one here is probably one of my favorite refrigerators overall. Uh, this is the KRMF 706. So, taking spot number three, Samsung's going to swoop in here with a fully featured refrigerator in that middle of the price point range, in that $2,700 to $2,500 range. And this guy's the RFK 9070. Also, they've done a great job. We're showing most of these in black stainless, but these all come in stainless steel as well. But this one, no handles on the refrigerator. It's a brilliant idea because this fridge can actually go with any kitchen that's out there. Uh, my brother actually owns this one, and he actually goes into a full Gen Air kitchen suite, um, but with no handles, he doesn't have to worry about matching those up. There's a couple of reasons he chose this fridge, which we're going to take a look at. Number one, storage space on the inside. Overall, the amount of storage that you get with maximizing the space in the actual ice maker side door is astonishing. Also, with the flip-up pad right here, you can actually put larger items or snap this down, and you've got large spaces with your narrow shelf here, but it's fully adjustable in the back. Unlike the previous two fridges we look like, which are side-mounted, give you very limited options on how you can adjust, this goes back to the old-school way on those middle shelves, allowing you to have full adjustability on there. Also, you're still getting rollers on the drawers, so you're going to get a much smoother pull than a plastic glide. However, what makes this fridge so special is this compartment right here. With a large family, you can actually make this a fridge or a freezer. So if you have a deep freeze out in the garage, making this part refrigerator, putting all the kids' stuff down here, or isolating this for what's readily accessible is a fantastic idea, but still leaving you with a freezer section. Also, in these freezers, pull-out drawers, giving you maximum storage space. Overall, the organization of this fridge is fantastic, but it really takes the cake with that flex space right there, allowing you to have more freezer or more fridge depending on what your family needs. Taking spot number four, it once again is another Samsung, the RF260. So this guy is going to give you the full size of a French door without the hefty price tag. Coming in around $1,200 to $1,400, you're going to get the maximum storage space, no water dispenser through the door or ice dispenser, but it still does have an ice maker inside. So with a large capacity fridge at 26 cubic foot, still using rollers, um, you're going to get the maximum storage space on this guy, still to keeping Samsung's traditional twin cooling system, keeping the cold air in the fridge up here, the frozen air down here, uh, to keep those from circulating so you get less odor transfer, your fruits and vegetables will stay better for a little bit longer than a traditional style refrigerator. So overall, for the price point at $1,199, coming in closer to a side-by-side -side refrigerator, you're going to have the biggest bang for your buck. So the RF260 wins the category for best bang for the buck. Coming in with our fifth spot is a well-rounded, well-built fridge that's got everything you need and with a price point that's definitely in the right range. So the GFE 26, usually sitting between $2,250 and $2,400, is going to give you a nice, sleek look. Uh, they do a great job of blending in uh, the control panel uh, with a nice, simple paddle. However, space-wise, you actually get the most storage space in all the shelves because of the way they lay it out. So for usable space without cramming down a shelf, the GE actually is a well-designed refrigerator. There's nothing fancy about the shelves, and the top shelves in the ice maker are a little narrow, but they definitely do the trick for your smaller items. Full-size bins on the right-hand side, LED lights on the inside of the units, and good storage space inside the refrigerator itself, but with a good quality of the GE build. Overall, this fridge, from a standpoint of overall well-built, well-rounded refrigerator, takes our fifth spot. So guys, thank you very much for joining us at Appliance Factory Reviews, and as always, we'll see you next time.